Good morning guys, Unfrequented World. I've made my way back into the spot, the find that uh, Stan showed us the other day, the 1915 to 1918 Model T Ford. I'm here today because we only found one rim from that car. There should be four, obviously four tires. I wanna see if I can find the other three. That's the start of today's adventure. Secondly, I want to go back to the cement foundation, the poured foundation that we found in here turn of the century, 1900, between this car and that poured foundation, this site screams old money. So we're gonna do some in the bush exploring and we're gonna put on the six inch coil to do that today. So here's the first rim. This is one we found the other day and you can see it's got the holes in it where the spokes, wooden spokes would have went through and this outside would have been uh, wooden as well. There should be three more of those around here somewhere. We haven't found them yet. Here's a closer look at the diff and axle and how we pin this down to a 1915 to 1918 Model T Ford is that it only has one leaf spring. After 1918, they went to a multi-spring system. So this car is definitely in that range, 1915 to 1918. I want to find these other three rims for Stan. I think that would be an awesome thing for him to take home and restore. When we started detecting here the other day, Stan thought there was a whole pile of car right here, but it's not. It's a big rock. And all that's left of the car is two piles. One right there with a few pieces of sheet, some frame stuff, trim. And over here, another pile that has one fender and some more sheet stuff. And then this piece over here, which I don't know if it's part of a seat or what. I don't know what that is. And that's all that's left of this old Model T. Just now you catch on, eh? It's a moose. There's a moose in there. I followed tracks across the field this morning and I just heard her back there bawling and uh, brush moving. So I don't know if she's having a calf. I, I thought it was a little early, usually by May, but she could be. So I gotta be careful today. And the dog, he's just clueless, didn't catch on. Well, holy mackerel, I solved another riddle. From the first outing this year when Stan and I went down to the river, I found a little item, a tube inside of a tube. And I showed you guys along the edge of the river. I said, I don't know what this is. I just found another one. On, I don't know if this is a piece of the hood. I don't know what this is. But there it is right there, a tube inside of a tube with the exact same little slots in it. That piece we found along the river came from an old car. And there is how the tube sits inside the other one and stays in place, which I showed you guys that day. So definitely an old car in that river. Ha, look what I just found, the smoking gun. Part of a hub and there's writing on there. Let's brush this off. The uh, diff is right behind me, and this was buried under about four inches of pine needles and stuff. Let's see what it says. Look at that. There you go, Stan. <laughs> Ford. There's your Model T hubcap right there, buddy. Should be three more of those lying around here somewhere too. Let's see if we can find them.
So there's a fair amount of frozen ground still here and over behind me is still three, four inches of packed ice and snow. I don't know where these rims are. I, they should be just lying here. Did somebody come through here 50 years ago and take them and they just didn't find the last one there? I don't know. It's odd. You would think they would be right here on top somewhere, but Oh, yeah, look at that. License plate. <laughs> 19. It's right here in the corner. I see it. Look at that, 1932. Big old root hanging off the back. Oh, I'm so giving that to Stan and he can restore that. That is an amazing piece of history right there. A 1915 to 18 Model T that was licensed up to 32. This is why I metal detect it. I'm, I'm stoked right now, I'm on such a a uh, 1932 license plate high. <laughs> I can't even. Ah, uh, this is just. This is why I started metal detecting to decipher and figure out old clues like this. And man, I'm having a blast right now. Stan is on his way in. He just texted me. I told him you gotta come see this. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is just getting cooler and cooler the more I dig. Look at that. And there it is, right from that hole there, the front license plate. Oh, this one says 1936. 1936. He was going to wander off and start detecting. I said, no, come here, i got to show you something. <laughs> I found some proof for you. Some what? Proof. Proof. What do we got? What do we got? I got two things for you. Uh oh. Hey, Keith, look at that. Yourself. Here's the first one. Hubcap. Yep. 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 And I got this for you. Yeah. I saw them. <laughs> he saw them. <laughs> License plates. Wow. But. There's a mystery though, two different dates. Well, yeah, there's, there's, that's why I was saying there's more stuff here, Gary. Like there's gotta be maybe another car, maybe some other junk. Yep. So that 32 was found right by the back diff and axle. Okay. And then this one was found at the front. So I thought it was the front plate, but it's 1936. Yeah, there's a couple cars here then. This okay, thing. Stan, solve the mystery of what the tube in a tube is. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, license plate uh, holder with bulb for illumination. Yeah, so the tube is the actual inside tube is the, the old the bulb. holder for the bulb. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's some uh, finds that Stan made the other day when he found the car out in the field. He's got a Hep C tag. We don't know what that's all about. <laughs> a 1916 large scent. A butt plate off of a rifle here. And this little one looks like the butt plate or handle off of a small handgun. So it could even be like a Derringer or something like that. Both of them are really heavy duty uh, metal, so, and fairly old, so. And another headlight over here. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Take that home. <laughs> I did, I got one already. The other one actually had the liner pot. I just found an old axe head here, digging around for more car parts. Yeah, that's a heavy duty one, that one. Now there's more car parts here, you can tell, but it's froze. So we've got a few of these heavy duty hinges. I don't know what they were for exactly, but they've got wood screws in them. So that means for sure that the chassis of that car had to be made out of wood. All right, I've switched over to the six inch coil and we're gonna make our way back to the old poured foundation.
Good call on the six inch anyway. Getting through all this brush no problem. There we go, something there. So I'm right at the foundation now. I've got a 28 signal here and the ground is frozen. 28 to 30, whatever, it's a real good signal. So I'm hacking it out and uh, I can hear Stan yelling. There's the foundation. He's 150 yards, 200 yards away from the car. He said, I got another rim. He found it way down there. Oh, look at this guys, it is frozen solid. But worth it, look what I just popped out. Look at that. That is a big old buckle. Like a belt buckle. Right on the edge of the foundation. Look at that. Stan's still yelling for me. We better go find him. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Oh, look at that. So there's our one of our missing rims. And look at that. Hosing in. Look at the wooden spokes. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's a... I'm looking at this rim here, and this is not a car rim. Just a closer inspection. There's no spoke holes in there. And it is lying beside the old buggy here, which has wooden spokes. So it's not from that buggy either, I don't think. Well, there's an old wash tub down here right along the shore. Well, I'm back at the foundation. And here's an old toaster wire. Some guy made his toast with this 100 years ago. That's half of it anyway. Pretty sure that's what that is. Look at that. I see some glass. I see some cans. And down here I see some rubber or something. Leather. Is this part of the old garbage dump here, right? Just throw everything down the hill towards the water. Well, there's one old bottle. Still intact. And here's that piece of leather. It's an old sold to a boot and it's got nails in it. First coin! Okay, so we were just about to leave. Hey, don't eat it. Get out of here. And Stan has found first coin at the site. Okay, so I will get the brush out in the water and take a closer look at this. 1929. Canada, one cent. This is the flowers. Now, where do you find coins? In the garden. In the garden. See? So what are they? Some kind of lily or something? Yeah, well, probably a daffodil or... These are all over here. There's a whole... Clump. Yep, all kinds of them coming up and here. not everywhere. There's research. Look at that. That came out of the garden. It's got a glass housing there. Stan thinks it's the fuel filter off of one of them old cars. Yeah, this is the garden. Well, I never did run into that moose, but she was definitely here. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. We are froze out. Everything in around this foundation still has two, three inches of ice, and it's really windy again, so we can't go out to the point. It's just too cold today, so that's going to be it for today's adventure, guys. Lots more to come, though. Did you guys see that old buggy down there? I'm intrigued. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Lost the GoPro. My pack sack opened. It fell out somewhere. We've rewalked our whole route already once. We're going to do it again. Oh, pure joy, guys. I, sh I see it here. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! oh man, I was, I was not feeling good about that, Stan. Thanks for helping me look, buddy. Oh. There we are. Oh, I told him we, we were digging in the garden here. I said the, when we left digging in the garden, I stopped twice because something hit me in the back of the leg and I hadn't realized the pack sack was open. Well, we're 10 feet from the garden right here, so whoo, thank God.